Hello, welcome to Lesson 1. I wanted to provide a, a really short um, lesson overview and to help with navigation, especially since this is our first official lesson after the getting started lesson. And um, on the following page, there is a, a, a graphic that will give you hints and a, and a couple of things you will need to be looking for as you navigate through each of the pages for our lessons. Our lessons will be structured very similarly throughout the semester. So once you learn how to navigate from one page to another, um, that skill you can uh, transfer to other lessons. Also keep in mind, on the upper right hand corner of, of this lesson file is a print all button. You can click on that button and it will give you a really nice uh, printout of source of all the pages together. So you don't, if you want to print the, the lesson out, you do not have to go from one page to another, to another, to another, and individually print. You can just hit print all and it will let you, the system will let you print out all the pages at the same time. Just keep in mind it doesn't print out any of the links or embedded documents or, or videos or anything like that. It just prints out what you see on the screen. Um, one of the, the, the items um, I wanted to make sure that we cover in this lesson is, is the questions of, of who, how many, and, and why related to adolescent and teenage uh, uh, youth, substance use and abuse. Our book really doesn't talk about the statistical uh, breakdowns of, of how frequent and how common um, adolescent substance use is and, and addiction is. And that's, that's what we need to, to build our foundation on. This is what's not in the textbook, actually. It is current statistical data. So I have included statistical data from 2010 and 11 from the Monitoring the Future st uh, study which is a um, study that's, that's been around for 36 years, I believe. So we have 36 years of data that we can compare um, against that has allowed us to survey high school students. It's a pen and paper survey that's administered uh, through a sample of high school students throughout the United States. And it, it answers many of the questions of consumption rates, uh, gender breaks down, breakdowns, the types of drugs being used, the frequency and duration, the effects, and, and some of the uh, perceptions and opinions of our youth who are using and who might not be using. So it's really just uh, full of valuable information. Instead of, instead of asking folks to read the entire document, which is, is pretty scientific in nature, instead, and lengthy, hundreds of pages. Uh, many of the documents are four to five hundred pages long. We will be reading a couple of press releases. One press release about the general document itself and another press release from 2011 about the reduction or, or the status of smoking uh, with the teenage population. Another survey we will be looking at is the National Survey on Drug Use um, and Health. This is a national survey given to adults and it does consider the, the um, status of, of kids and teenagers and uh, young adults, but the main focus is the, the entire household. For the monitoring the future study, it tends, tends to have a focus of, of the actual teen. The National Survey on Drug Use is a household survey that is generally collected uh, via telephone survey. You may have been contacted yourself sometime in the past where the federal government contracts with several agencies to collect this information. So again, instead of asking folks to read the entire document, which is hundreds of pages long, there's a short summary overview I have posted inside of this lesson for us to read. Um, one of the last activities for this lesson is, is another video. This is a video that I actually produced um, a couple of years ago where I interviewed a young lady, a teenager, who had, had suffered through um, significant family substance and alcohol abuse. She herself had been involved in, um, in drug activity. 
and as many uh, as, as well as her friends. And uh, um, the, the intent was to share her perspectives as someone who had been in that scene, as a family member, as someone who um, uh, was in a social circle of individuals and teenagers especially that used and abused illicit substances and what her perspectives were. So it's about a 16 minute video which is very, very, um, to, to me, very interesting. Uh, finally, there are two um, discussion boards that we are responsible for this semester. A discussion board from the Monitoring the Future and the National Survey uh, Drug Use uh, documents, and a discussion board um, related to the video from Faith that we uh, were supposed to view. Again, I'm certainly looking forward to our semester together. Um, one of my primary responsibilities is to make sure that, that you get what you need through this learning experience. And I have a pretty high expectation of myself and of, um, of each of you. Uh, some of the material we'll, we'll be reading um, this semester, especially beginning next lesson from our textbook, was written for the professional audience, meaning this is the type of material you will be exposed to and will be expected to, to be able to process and talk about and learn from in the professional setting. Um, to me, that's the most valuable type of material we can have inside of the classroom. It's professionally relevant material. So uh, this course will certainly be an indicator of that. We will be looking at addiction in general and some treatment mechanisms as well, in general, for the um, uh, young, adult, young adult and adolescent population, which includes you know drugs and alcohol, but also gambling, um, sex, and many other types of, of life issues that may fall into this category of addiction. Again, I encourage you to, to call me. Let me know if you need help. Email me, and um, I'm here to help you through this process. Thanks so much.